Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video isn't really planned and it's actually gonna be really hard for me to film, I think. Just for so many reasons, like I don't, number one, I don't wanna cry because I hate crying. Number two, I don't want people to think this is to get attention or to get um, reactions, to get pity, none of that. I just, I've never really like stood up for myself really and I feel like a lot has happened in the last like three or four months and I just haven't talked to you guys about it at all and just been like really quiet and about it and like pretending everything is okay um, when it, it is okay like, but it's gotten to this weird point where I'm in a mix of like getting tired of it and where it's like I just want to address it and also where I'm like strong enough to address it because before I don't think I was. So yeah, this also isn't planned. Um, I don't really know what I'm gonna say. I just wanna start off by saying I'm not gonna mention specific things, specific names, nothing. I don't want to um, call out certain accounts or people or like trolls. I don't want to stir up drama. I'm just kind of like standing up for myself and speaking kind of vaguely about how I feel about people on social media lately. Um, I also am probably the happiest I've ever been. I feel independent and happy and I'm in a healthy relationship and I feel just like good and life is great, but two things can be true at the same time and you can be happy and great, but then also have other things in your life that you're struggling with, um, improve or address and um, things that I think that like are kind of unacceptable that I've been like seeing on social media recently and I'm just like you guys know that a lot of times when I'm not even like going through stuff but just in general like I like to just talk about my mental health um I like to talk about things in general I like to talk about things that are on my mind so I thought I would just do that today um I gave it like a few days of just being like not letting um my just like not being an emotion mind and trying to be in wise mind when I film this but I think it's like emotional to talk about regardless I feel like this lighting is whack I don't even know where to begin like I went through stuff that I don't really want to talk about. It doesn't really matter to me anymore. Like I handled it on my own the way I wanted to. A lot of people like handle things really irrationally online. I've done that before, but I kind of just want it to be like personal about this. Um, and I'm so happy I did that. But a lot of people have been really like, not only like mean on social media, but like straight up like bullying. It's so important to remember that you i mean you hear it a million times but i don't think people actually get it that like people on social media are people um i have an account just like the rest of you but i'm a human being just like the rest of you and i mean people with millions of followers still deserve respect but i don't even have millions of followers like i see everything like you guys th maybe think it's funny to tag me on stuff that would hurt my feelings or or just say like blatant insults that like and I know a lot of people are gonna say or think like you chose to have a presence online you chose to put some of your life publicly online um and everyone gets hate so you should probably just suck it up don't be so sensitive don't care about it but anyone who says they don't care about hate at all I think is being like naive about it like I've gone a lot better at not caring but lately it's been so overwhelming that it's hard to not care at all and the the insults I get are crazy like i get everything from like you're hideous like you're a loser like gold digger um fame chaser which anyone who knows me would laugh and say that quite literally makes zero sense um but they're just so unwarranted and people are so entitled with the, in this day and age of social media to feel like they can say whatever insults and whatever like throw blatant lies around and stir up drama however they see fit and i just want people to know that i see it not i don't go looking for it but i get tagged in things i get sent things because people are insensitive and i see the things people are saying about me i get dm'd all the time um telling me like I'm a horrible person and I'm ugly and I'm worthless and like people telling me that like I'm a nobody and like um these are totally for no reason um I feel like I'm bullied by people in my own city that in general just 
needs to stop. I'm obviously like blocking those people right away. Um, just be, like for my well-being. Yeah, I just want people to remember that you don't know what someone has been through. Like you don't know the story behind anyone, anyone's relationships with one another, um, their family life, their friend life. Like you don't know anything unless you know them really personally, especially online. You don't know. You don't know either sides of the stories. You don't know what's going on behind the scenes. You don't know what happened. Um, and to keep your hurtful opinions to yourself. I know a lot of people do that to like get reactions out of people, but um, you forget that like I'm a real human being. So I just kind of wanted to ask for that to stop. And if you guys ever feel the need, not only me, but anyone, anyone online, um, whether you know them, whether you don't know them, just like be nice. <laughs> you like truly don't know what the effect is gonna have on the person. And I feel like a lot of the people commenting this were raised better than to um, say the things that they're saying and they just wanna feel involved in someone's life and involved in drama and feel special and get a reaction out of someone when that's just like not a nice way to live, I feel. It's really hard in this day and age, like people think they know everything. This may not be making sense to anyone if you don't know me or whatever and that's totally fine. This is just kind of like a general like talk on social media and how I've been feeling on it lately and um, it's been like getting me down and it's not and I know a lot of people be like then don't have Instagram like I think it's fair for me to still want to have Instagram but also ask to not get unwarrantedly bullied um, and I don't want to just delete the app and stuff because some people are just unkind. I feel like it's fair for me to like stand up for myself and um, not give like any details of any situations, but just be like, I'm like a human being. I really don't want to talk about this next part in detail at all because um, it's very sensitive to me. Something happened to me um, specifically online that was very like private and like a breach of privacy. Um, so I've been dealing with that for months and months, actually over a year, but more so within the last couple months and people are just, some people are really supportive and nice about it and then um, other times I just hear like the most ridiculous stuff about it and it gets brought up to me all the time, but that's been like really hard for me to deal with and I would just like appreciate if people would just like give me a break and stop like her like it's not funny and just like stop like harassing me about that if you know what i'm talking about i'm, I'm speaking so quietly <laughs> i don't even know if you guys can hear me i don't even know why i'm filming this at this point i just uh, i've been acting like i'm totally fine for the past couple months and i have been but it's important to remember that um not everyone's always okay um and social media can just be like a dangerous place like Take time away from it, um, don't take it too seriously, but also it's really important to just like be nice on it. I don't think there's a point in like turning communities so rotten and I don't think people understand how much I've tried to like grow on my own and like how much I had to go through to get where I am and like I would ask that people respect that um, and respect that I'm my own person and I'm and I'm happy and to not bring someone down when they are look like they're doing well like it probably took them a lot of like hardships to get to doing well I know this is like a sad video but like I feel so happy like I'm my own person and I'm loved because of who I am not who I'm with who I surround myself with like people like me for me now and um I try my best to be like a good person and I'm trying to be an even better person than I was because there will always be rumors around going around about me about how terrible a person I am or crazy shit I apparently did or what happened but I guess people love drama, people love that shit but when you're on the other side of it, people don't understand how lonely and hurtful it can be. I just kind of wanted to get that off my chest. I don't. I don't know, it feels like weird filming this and like being this open about how much comments and DMs and stuff affect me. I just wanted to remind people, maybe you've seen someone comment something like that or maybe 
you've been the one to comment or maybe you're just like nice to people always maybe you don't comment at all like whatever but i hope people can just learn that you don't know anything about anyone's life like you just have to stay out of it social media isn't real life but the words being put on there are and real people do see that something i don't say a lot is like i'm proud of myself getting out of bad situations is really hard and more so doing it in silence kind of and being really independent it's hard and that's something that i'm really proud of myself for that doesn't mean it's still not emotional for me it's called like a dialectic where two things can be true at the same time i am so proud of myself yet i am so vulnerable and stuff just because social media makes it really hard with people tearing you down all the time i still suffer obviously with my mental illnesses it makes it harder and then at the same time i kind of have this like wonderful life that i'm so grateful for and amazing people in it like you kind of start realizing who's there for you who your true friends are like how fake social media is and people can turn against you and days for shallow reasons um yeah but i've just learned a lot about i've kind of like matured a lot in a couple months and i'm so fucking proud of myself and for anyone going through like something similar whether it doesn't even have to be online or maybe it is online or it could be a totally different situation but for someone who kind of like feels alone, feels attacked, um, feel like they can't really catch a break, you're not alone. And it's okay to be upset. And it's okay to tell people that you're upset. And like being upset doesn't mean you're also not getting better and stronger. It's okay to have days where you're sad and where you feel um, alone and like beaten up a little bit. But that doesn't mean that you're still not getting stronger and tomorrow's gonna be okay or maybe the next day will be okay and i'm doing amazing i literally like <laughs> i literally had a great day and then like i was just like kind of like bombarded with like unkind comments etc and it just kind of like that's what made me want to film this but um just kind of like get it off my chest and then like not talk about it again because i never really addressed any issues at all and i know i was very vague in this but it's just, it's my feelings that are more important than the actual um, events that took place or whatever. I don't want to bring up any of that. And any comments that are like mean or overly specific or something, I'm going to delete. I just don't want that. Always pretending that you don't care is not true and it is not productive. And it's cool to show that you're not always okay. I'm the happiest I've been in years. And I have so many like exciting things in my life planned and so many like things in my life I want to do and I'm excited for and people in my life that make me so happy um so you gotta focus on that but I just thought I would address um how I'm feeling once and for all um this isn't for petty this isn't for anything it's more for myself if anything and just to kind of ask people to give me a break leave me alone <laughs> um and yeah just like let me let me live let me move on let me grow as a person and don't drag other people you don't know down for no reason it's it looks so bad on you <laughs> i've just been like kind of having a hard time but i know it'll pass i'm more mature now and i know that it's gonna be okay i'm gonna be fine um i'm thankful for the people in my life like beyond thankful you know who you are. I'm thankful for all the kind things that people say to me and message me. I feel like I know a lot of you, it's weird, but um, being kind to someone means a lot more um, than you know. And also being mean to someone affects them a lot more than you know as well. So just keep that in mind. Sorry, this video is rambly and weird and emotional and I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> um, but thank you for watching if you made it this far. I think we should all just try to be the best people we can and like learn from our mistakes and learn from others and just be nice but yeah for those of you who have been there for me for me um from the start like that's can't even express how cool that is um but yeah i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye